Uh, yeah, most definitely. Uh, it's one of the one of my weaknesses, I believe. Uh, I have two weaknesses that I need to get better at, and one being uh, being more physical off the line of scrimmage and becoming a better route runner. How has your combine experience been so far for you? Uh, it, it's, it's been stressful as far as like lack of sleep. Yeah. You know, yesterday I got up at 3.30 in the morning and didn't end up going to bed until around 11 o'clock that night. And didn't get a chance to nap or anything like that. So it's been stressful, but uh, I'm taking in the moment, enjoying every bit of it. So uh, the following year, the guys that come up here next year, I can be able to give them a good example of what it's like. For myself, I know that those guys, you know, they're, they're probably great receivers, don't get me wrong, but I know I'm the type of player and, and what, what I'm capable of. You know, I know I can get the ball on the five-yard line and take it 95 yards for a touchdown. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. So you went to Cameron Yo in yeah. high school, and then you went to Blinn, and then Oklahoma. Can you kind of describe the journey and did you think that you'd be sitting at this podium here today in front of us? Uh, most definitely not, man. It's been a long journey for both me and my family. Um, to start off, like you said, I went to CHL High School, Yo Pie Never Dies. Um, then I, I went on, I was a non-qualifier non coming out of high school, went over to uh, Blandry in college. Uh, I played my freshman season, my sophomore year, uh, going into my sophomore year, I stepped away from the game, moved back home, you know, um, pretty much took care of my kids, helped my, my children's mother, raised my children. And that next semester, I came back in the spring semester of that next year, and that's when the ball started rolling for me. I became an All-American that year, ended up with 22 Division One scholarship offers, and chose the University of Oklahoma to continue my career. Uh, I believe I was 5'11", 7'8", and, uh, and um, 178 pounds. Didi, what was some of the advice that Coach Stoops told you to kind of prepare for this next level? Just pretty much be myself. You know, he was just telling me I have a lovable yeah, personality. You know, um, regardless of what everyone else says, people are going to follow up with my personality and who I am and what I stand for. Just pretty much be myself.